a massive, mysterious rogue planet has been observed moving outside our solar system. A lot of things have been observed outside our solar system, and just a few days ago, the uh, Lucy satellite has been launched, heading towards the Jovian planets Jupiter, Venus, Uranus, Neptune, in order to study those uh, gas giant giants in the edge of our solar system, and also the Centaur comets and asteroids, which are as small, or as big, I should say, as small planets, and also to study the Kuiper Belt objects. And also, of course, these things. Perhaps, could it be Planet X, uh, Planet 9, Nibiru? And it's only, as we know, about 20 light years away, fairly close in terms of celestial distances. 20 light years away, this rogue planet. This mysterious large object floating around outside our solar system, researchers are not exactly sure what it is, although it could be a rogue planet. In the first radio telescope detection, of a planetary mass object beyond our solar system, astronomers found a strange celestial body that has 12.7 times the mass of Jupiter. So it's huge, about 13 times the mass of Jupiter. It does not appear to orbit a parent star, but it is only 20 light years away from our Earth. This object is right at the boundary between a planet and a dwarf star, brown dwarf or failed star, and is uh, giving, us, uh, giving us some surprises that can potentially help us understand magnetic processes on both stars and planets. The study lead astronomer was Melody Cao, and this is what uh, uh, the astronomer explained. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. A dwarf, uh, brown dwarf, is an object too large to be a planet, and it is not big enough to sustain the nuclear fusion of hydrogen in its core to make it a star. So uh, this is not the first time we've heard of brown dwarfs at the edge of our solar system. A couple of years back, I would say about four or five years back, a lady from NASA came out with the uh, announcement that we have a brown dwarf at the edge of our solar system. So anyway, the object, which has been named SIMP, S-I-M-P, J0136663, was first detected in 2016, but was thought to be a brown dwarf. The latest data reveals it's younger than first thought at a relative youthfulness of 200 million years old, and its mass is smaller, so it could be classified as a planet. Its temperature is also far cooler than the sun, at 825 degrees Celsius. It also has a strong magnetic field, 200 times the strength of Jupiter. So it's about 13 times the size of Jupiter, the magnetic field, 200 times the strength of Jupiter. The researchers were able to pick up on the object's magnetic activity using a powerful radio astronomy observatory called the Very Large Array, a National Science Foundation facility which is in New Mexico. The methods used suggest the researchers may have, quote, a new way of detecting exoplanets, including the elusive rogue ones, not orbiting a parent star, and quote. This is what researcher Greg Hallinan said. This is according to RT's Unbended Reality. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.